All right, so we've all played around a golf. I just did a couple weeks ago with a gentleman who was playing with an antiquated, I don't, it looked like something from the Civil War that he pulled out on every shot. He was driving me nuts going, it's 120 to the flag, it's 70 to the flag, it's 280 to the flag. And guess what? He was wrong every time. He either overclubbed it or underclubbed it. You know what he should have had? The Sky Caddy LX2. I got to show you this. You want to talk about modern technology helping your golf game? Sure, you could have titanium clubs. You could have Volvic golf balls, some of the very best out there. Sky Caddy. Guess what? GPS system hooked up to a satellite never is wrong. When you have your Sky Caddy LX2 on your wrist and it's a money shot it's a money shot and you're eyeing it up and you're going it looks like 182 and guess what you look at your sky caddy and you look at your wrist and it says it's 161 and there's no breeze what would have happened if you would have eyed it up and it was a hundred dollar well for the uh, round of golf You'd have been paying your buddies or your lady friends a hundred bucks because you didn't have a Sky Caddy on your wrist. So I'm going to walk you through the Sky Caddy LX2 and we're going to talk about its benefits and why you need to invest in Sky Caddy if you're serious about your golf games or if you want to be like the guy who was using a Civil War nautical telescope to dial in uh, his next shot and he was completely wrong. You want Sky Caddy to be your best friend on a golf course. With a simple intuitive interface, powered by an ultra-fast multi-core processor, simple touchscreen, and the most accurate course maps in the game, the Sky Caddy LX2 is the simplest way to get yardages you can trust. Skygolf.com. We're standing here on a par three at South Park Golf Course here. And what a beautiful fall round of golf we're having. And right now I'm looking at 114 front, 24 middle, and 33 back. It's also giving me how many steps I had today. Obviously, I need a few more. But um, the graphics on this and the uh, accuracy is very impressive. So thank you, Sky Caddy. We're here at hole number 17, South Park Golf Course. And I zoned in my Sky Caddy watch here, 499 par 5, and I believe that to be totally accurate. I've played this hole hundreds of times, not so well, but today I think that's going to change. Uh, 499 to the front edge from here, and we're going to trust that yardage. We're probably not going to get home in two. There's a lot of wind today, but that third shot in is where this is going to come in handy, okay? We're going to need an exact yardage to park it there and hopefully get a bird. So I hit that one down the left side trying to cut the corner a little bit. I think I probably have about 280 to the pin from there is my best guess, but guess what? My new best friend Sky Caddy is going to give me an accurate yardage for my layup shot since there's a lot of wind today. So we're going to go up and see what we got. Estimated to be 280. We're at 281. 280 actually standing here. It was just a good guess on my part, but like I said, the key here is going to be the layup shot. I don't have a great lie. I'm in the middle of a deer print here for God's sake, but that's okay. I'm going to progress the ball forward and then get a good yardage in for that third shot. Sky Caddy has me at 280 right now. That's to the right. That's okay. I can come in from there. Push it to the right a little bit, but we can come in from there. And we're going to get a good number from Sky Caddy on our third shot here. All right, Sky Caddy has me at 130. This is a totally blind shot. I pushed my second shot to the right a little bit, so we're going to trust this number. I'm going to hit a pitching wedge up there, and hopefully it's on the dance floor. 130, Sky Caddy. All right, so we pulled the third shot a little bit left here, and I, for one, when I chip, I like a precision distance. I just practice distances, so when I come out here, I should know the distance. Sky Caddy has me at 23 paces to the back, and we're just going to try a little bump and run here and try to run 123 paces. What I have here is my old range finder. The reason I say old is because now we're done with that. Get rid of it. Sky Caddy gives me the same information. I can glance at my wrist versus having to go to the cart, see line of sight with the pin, and hope that the laser still catches, right? We've all been through that. 
blind shots, as you just saw, I just pulled one off, relying on Sky Caddy. And yes, I ended up parring the hole with a very long putt, but that blind shot with a good number was a key to par at hole 17 South Park. Welcome to the Sky Caddy Signature Hole of the Week. This week we're at the beautiful Sea Point Golf Links. I'm going to take a look at what the players are going to face this week. And I've got my trusty Sky Caddy to help me zoom in to key features on this 18th hole. The players are going to have two options on this par 5. The prevailing wind is southeasterly, so it's down off the right. So with the tee shot, it looks very narrow off the tee. But with the Sky Caddy, I can actually see the landing area is a lot wider over that right dune. OK, so they're going to have an option to either hit a driver and get the ball a long way down there, or they can lay up to a 240 yardage to leave a longer shot. It's going to be very, very much situation dependent on what shot they're going to play. Let's take a look and see what they're going to face with their second shot. This really is a superb finishing hole for the guys, a par five with a lot of options. The first option was playing more conservatively off the tee. It looked very narrow, but on the Sky Caddy, we could see there was lots of room. From here, if I take a look, they're going to have around the 250 number into this green. A very narrow approach. They're going to have options again. Are they going to lay up to around the 75 number or are they going to try and scuttle a three wood through the dunes and the bunkering? Either way, it's a tough shot with a very, very narrow approach. Come with me a little further though. So I'm here now where the players that might have played a more aggressive tee shot, it's narrower, which you can see on the Sky Caddy, and it's going to pay dividends. They have around 150, 160 downwind. And I can tell you now, looking at this green, how tight it is, the bunkering, the dunes, rather going in with a lower lofted club than something a little longer if you decide to lay back. It's going to be a very exciting finishing hole come Sunday. <laughs> 